Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Cassidy. If it's not, thanks for always tuning into my videos. Today we are doing a different video. We're gonna go over how I take my Instagram picture so you can see my bookstagram here. I take a lot of time. I shoot them in bulk. I typically shoot two weeks worth of content at once because it is a lot of work to set up, but I think it's worth it in the end. So let's get right on into the little video. So the first thing I always do, so I will go to Instagram and I will just take a little scroll through and if anything like catches my eye, I will save it. And sometimes like if I really like a picture, I'll go into the creator, it's like Instagram and just kind of see what else they do. Lately, I've been really liking this like marshmallow vibe. I made a coffee and so I'm wondering if I have mini marshmallows and I can throw that on. I really like this person's vibe. I also do this as I'm just like on Instagram ever. If there's something that just like catches my attention, I will always just save it. So when I'm saving things, I'm either saving it because I really just like the aesthetic, I like the placement of things, or I sometimes save things if I like the like thingy-ma-bobs in the photo. So let's say like I really like the glasses in here and like the pine cone and the candle with the scarf. I'll save that because like not necessarily I like the placement and I'm gonna do something like this, but I helps me with trying to gather things because truthfully I just gather a lot of shit from around my house. I just do things with what I have. So I have a little... I literally just have this rug to sit on on my chair. Uh, I've had it forever but it looks good in pictures so I throw it in pictures. Pretty much anything you have around the house works. Uh, now I will take you out to the living room where I shoot. It's probably really messy and kind of show you the setup we have going on out there. Okay, I'm in the room where all the magic happens. I shoot with just my ring light. There's no natural light because I'm in the basement and we have crappy windows down here so I don't get a lot of light. I just have a table set up and all like my goodies on it. Let's let you see it. Here's what the setup like looks like just like with everything thrown on because I'm going to walk you through things. I just literally have a white sheet on a table and I make sure to put things behind it. Right now it's just like all our canned jars. I don't know if you can see that from like salsa and apple pie filling and like everything we've done. But I like so that when I take a picture I don't have to worry about the background because it's still this white sheet. And then I'll put my ring light like flat and you'll see that later on. But that's like the basis. I'll walk you through some of my little, little prompt things. But I'm going to do that standing up. Okay, so my like must have for my pictures, of course, other than the white sheet, are wood cutting boards. These are literally just cutting boards we have in our house. There's nothing special about them. We use them to cook things on. I just give them a little clean and take them out for my photos. I have a variety of different sizes. I only took three out today, but we do have more than this. But um, you can make work with whatever. I really like this chunky one. And then this small one, you've seen these in most of the photos that I do. Other than that, things to grab are always your bookmarks and book sleeves. So I have some of my fabric bookmarks and my book sleeves from Willow and Quill. I will link them down in the description bar. I will link every shop I talk about in the description bar. This is not sponsored. I get nothing. I just love these products. This is a Canadian shop and I really really love them. Their fabric bookmarks are super super cute. I also like to think about my color scheme so I'm very neutral with my pictures. Whites, browns, woods, um, and red is like my pop of color normally so like I like a warmer tone in my photos. Uh, other musts I have are like these little thingies. I literally just went to like my local craft store. These are from Michaels or the dollar store and found these. I really really enjoy these little bobble things. Literally you just go to a store and pick things out. That's what I did. I have like this rope. I have two different types. Again I just went to Michaels, a local craft store, and bought these like potpourri thingies. So I just have this one and it's just filled with like little wood thingies. Uh, there's like these little flowers. I like to just like sprinkle these in the background for texture, I want to say. I have more bookmarks. I love like a wood mark. So I have these from 
Fable and Bones. I love these. They're in almost every single picture I take. These, I think, are from the Woodwork Den. I'm going to have to double check that, but again, I will link every shop down below. I have just like dried apples, like literally anything around your house works. An old book, just pages of, of the book are, really are my favorite thing. I use them in like every single photo. These are from Looking for Alaska by John Green. They, it just fell apart one day and so I used it. Candles, I have white because it works with my aesthetic like something different. I have, because when I was scrolling today, I did notice I liked a lot of people's pictures. They had like their little tabs in them. I got these out today and have them for pictures. I have uh, just like a cup of coffee in a white mug. I have different mugs. I've used lots of different mugs. I also have mini marshmallows that I think I'm going to pop on there for a couple photos. Uh, I have that carpet we talked about, any kind of blankets. I've used sweaters, knits, I just like to add more texture and dimension into my photos, so I use a variety of things. As I said, I literally just throw things around the house. I've used decks of cards, I've used my laptop, um, literally anything you can think of that might work can go in the photo. Probably going to have to film my like actual taking process on just with my camera on my hands and I have really shaky hands so I am sorry for that but for now I'm just going to zoom you down and do like a little time lapse of me setting this up for some pictures so that you can kind of see what I do. I often will go back and now that we're here we're going to uh, go back to our Instagram, find your inspo photos in like your saved area and look at these to help you figure out kind of what you want for like setups and everything. Um, you never, I don't like ever just like copy a photo normally, I'm just like pulling little things from each of them. So, I mean, I really like the way this one looks with all the layers. This is what it'll look like with my ring light. I'll put my ring light like there and I will take like above where my ring light kind of is through the ring light. I'll just continue on taking some pictures. I'll show you everything. Now that I have a setup, if I like the setup, I will switch out books and just change a little bit of things before I change like the whole setup. So I should say that I take all my pictures on my iPhone. Honestly, both my phone and my camera are about to die, so we need to go through this fast. So now that I have the pictures, and I do want to say I make sure to take a lot. Like if we scroll through my little feed, I took a lot of pictures. I did a lot of different angles. I moved things because sometimes it just changes. Just like the littlest thing can change the entire photo. Okay, so I then will open Visco. That's what I use to edit on, and I will find a photo. I'm going to find one of the ones we took together, and I'll just kind of scroll through the pictures until I find one that I think kind of looks nice. There's a lot going on in this photo, but I kind of like it. So then we edit, and I do put a preset on it. I just use the A4 on Visco and I kind of turn it down to like 4.9. Honestly, normally I'm just copy and pasting my edits because I want them to look the same. Um, I sometimes up the contrast and I sometimes down it. It just really depends on the photo. I think I like this contrast down just a little bit. 
and going to sharpen the photo and add clarity. I honestly just do these to whatever I think looks good. And then I go into white balance. This is a big one for me. And I really up it to the warmth. And then I add pink too. And then the last thing is grain. We just want a lot of grain. And then sometimes I will then go see if I want it contrasted. No, I liked it less contrasted. And um, adjusting, I go to the adjust and I sometimes play with like my straighten because even though I'm a professional photographer, I can't take a straight picture to save my life. And then I'll go to skew and try to make it look like I took it at a flatter angle. Ooh, I really like this picture. That's a good one. And then next, save. And then if I were to continue from here on, honestly, I think I might add a little more pink to this. I lied. I would just copy and paste this edit, most likely, onto all of them. So you would just copy edits and go to your next picture and paste. I will go into, if I'm doing like a stack, I like to like blur the edges. So what I will do is kind of like the same thing. Find your stack photo that you want. I think I like this like sideways one. Paste your edits on. And now I like to go in and get rid of the grain on this. Okay, next. Save. Now we're gonna go to Facetune. I have a dog open. Open photo. Grab that photo that you've edited. Take the defocus and just the defocus and you're just gonna literally rub your finger along all of the outside of the photo everything but the books I do this really roughly if you get the books a little bit that's fine you just want to make sure you get everything okay after you've blurred everything you go to like the erase you zoom in and you're just gonna quickly go over all the edges of the book So that the book is not blurred at all. And then you're going to save that. That's all I do in this. You can play with the filters and it like adds some, some specs if you want. I might add specs to this though because I do like it today with this picture. And then we're going to go back into Visco. Go to that photo we just edited. Go in and just add that grain back in. I just don't like the grain to get blurred, so that's why I do it that way. I'm also going to play with the crop a little bit because there's a lot of blank space in that corner. I think I like that. And I think I'm going to contrast it, sharpen it a bit. And there we go. Then I have it and I will just do this to all of my photos and then I will just go into Instagram. I upload a post, put that in, go next, next. I like to just tag people then and there. So any brands I have in here, if I know the author's Instagram, if I know the publisher and then I just go backwards and save it as a draft. I just have a full draft of pictures that I can post whenever and sometimes I put my captions in now sometimes I don't it really just depends that's it it's that simple there we go that's how I take my bookstagram content that's literally the whole thought process I hope this all made sense if you watched this whole video up until now and you'd like to leave a comment to say that you were here but you have no idea what to say just leave me a camera emoji because we're talking pictures today Every single business brand I talked about will be linked in the description bar, as well as if you'd like to connect with me on other platforms, my bookstagram is down there, my book Twitter, my beauty channel, and my Goodreads. Have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.